the most beautiful part to, to block glass for me is uh, manipulate the glass. When you touch, you squeeze, you see the glass moving with you practically, you know. And probably the one of the most beautiful thing to do it. But not only for me, I think it's for everyone. For everyone, they have uh, to be lucky to be block glass. I, I think you have this kind of experience. Maybe, I'm not sure what drew Lino into glass originally, but I, it, it may be the primal nature of glass. I think he just happened to be that fortunate person that got into the right thing that was perfect for him. Um, you know, the, to handle glass is a gift, you know, and I don't know how many people have that. But he had that gift, and then he had the gift up here, the, the creative gift. I have never seen a person more, what, if I had to define creativity, I would use Lino. Glass is a more complex, fire, water, air. You know, it's a very uh, mysterious mix, and uh, I love it very much. Well, I think Lino uh, was certainly initially drawn to just the idea of Kentucky horses, bourbon, things like that. And then once he came in and experienced Center College and what, what we have and the college students and, and all that, it was a done deal with him. I mean, he, he really fell in love with the school. And uh, I think Danville, in a way, is like a, a Murano, uh, sort of secluded from the main island of Venice. Uh, I think it reminds him of that, maybe, where it is a little bit quieter and not, not so many distractions. So I, I, think he, I think he does like, he loves the countryside, and I think he really does relax when he comes here. I like Kentucky, Kentucky very, very, very much. My point of view is in the college, they have a great teacher, uh, great teacher in Stephen Powell. But also, I meet the president, Suze, you know, they are wonderful people, they are very, very special. And they make the, the, this place absolutely special. At one point, I say maybe magic. Yeah, I like things.